Okay, folks, welcome back to GTA Vice City with six stars, which is uh, which is almost finished, and I was almost finished out there. <laughs> okay, so the only tasks that are remaining in this playthrough are the remaining taxi driver fares, specifically fifty, and the Cuban Hermes for the Sunshine Autos import export garage, and of course. Paramedic, which would be the most difficult task of them all. But in this playthrough, I've, I mean, in this recording session, sorry, I would like to do as many taxi driver fares as possible. I'm going to leave uh, Paramedic until last, I reckon. I might export the Cuban Hermes in this recording session as well. Unfortunately, at this stage, the only way for me to export a Cuban Hermes is by turning my wanted level off. Because as I've said multiple times, traffic very, very rarely spawns when you've got six stars. And because I've already passed the missions in which a Cuban Hermes is scripted to spawn, um, the chances of me obtaining a Cuban Hermes in traffic at this point in the game are very, very slim. Even with the... hold on. Even with the Ghost World glitch. You may remember in the Ghost World glitch video that I made a while ago, I managed to make traffic spawn even with six stars, but I was driving around Little Havana for ages with that glitch triggered and a Cuban Hermes only spawned once, as far as I remember. So to get the Cuban Hermes I'll just turn my wanted level off and then as soon as I see one I'll put it back on, okay? It's a real shame because, um, as I said in a previous recording session, oh Christ, time's almost up. <laughs> Doesn't matter. What I'll do is, I'll. No tanks coming in, hopefully. It doesn't matter. Even if I do get killed by a tank, I'll, I won't reload. I'll just keep going. That's right, crash. Yeah, as I said in a, a few recording sessions a while ago, if I'd known the Cuban Hermes thing was going to be a problem, I would have obtained... Oh, fuck's sake! I would have obtained one of the Cuban Hermes that is scripted to spawn uh, during a mission, specifically Guardian Angels or uh, Bombs Away. Hurry up and get in. Oh god, I've lost a wheel as well. That's not good. And that destination is miles away. So I think I've now dropped off 52 fares. Be easier if I had uh, a taxi or a zebra cab instead of a Kaufman cab right here. But I just thought I'd uh, do taxi driver since this vehicle spawned right in front of me when I loaded up my save file. Tell you what, since that destination is bloody hell, come on, since that destination is quite far away, or should I, hold on, Jesus, I was considering just not bothering going to that destination and just uh, going somewhere else, but I'll see if I can get there, at least I'll try to, I'll check the footage, hold on. Yeah, footage is fine. I apologise if my words at the beginning of this recording session were a wee bit uh, nonsensical, shall we say. I've, I will admit I've got a wee bit of a headache right now. There's no way I'm going to get to that destination in time now. Sorry, folks. Right, if you must pick up that... If you must pick up that passenger, do it quickly. Yeah, it's like Laurel and Hardy. If you must make a noise, make it quietly. Right, 
let's discuss my next playthrough. My next crazy GTA playthrough is going to be GTA 3 with 6 stars. Whether or not I'll go for 100%, I don't know yet, but I will most likely try. Yeah, I will at least try. Paramedic, again, will be the most uh, difficult task of them all. And that's simply because, well, you have to complete up to and in bloody hell! I'm out of here, I've had enough. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm heading over to downtown and getting the zebra cabs. I'm getting fucking sick of this. I'm running out of time all the time. Right, let's get a tank and head over to Little Haiti, not downtown, sorry. I should have said the mainland, not downtown. Fuck off and die. Oh shit! Cheeky little bastard. What did Tommy say there? Right, how many have I dropped off now? Only 52, are you serious? I thought I dropped off more than that. Obviously fucking not. Right, come on. Get going. Fucking bus stop sign. Now the only reason that truck didn't stop was because I'm pretty sure it got shot by a soldier or something. I want to get an SMG. How much fucking health have these guys got? Too fucking much. Is that a tank up there? Yeah, it is. Two in fact. Oh, will you just die already? I might be here a while, guys, just bear with me. Is there another soldier around here? Yeah, there is, I can hear it firing. Jump over the fucking rail! What's so difficult about it? Right, I'm gonna shoot that cop car. As in, police cheetah. I just wasted a shitload of ammo trying to do a drive-by right there. Go! Right, go! Let's do this, come on! Right, what was I saying again? Yeah, my next crazy GTA playthrough will be GTA 3 with 6 stars. Paramedic will be the most difficult task because you have to complete up to and including level 12 in one sitting. Firefighter will be fine because you have to extinguish a total of 20 fires on each island. So it doesn't matter if you put out a few fires and then die or get busted. Because the game remembers how many you've put out. Same with Vigilante, you have to kill a total of 20 criminals on each island. Uh, what else? Taxi drivers just like Vice City. Drop off a total of 100 passengers. There are a lot of story missions that are very challenging with 6 stars. Van Heist is one of them. Yep. And we'll, I'll grab some SMG ammo just while I'm here. Yes, I will most likely lose a lot of it, but it will allow me to, I mean, it'll give me the edge while I'm driving the taxi, that's all. Right. Die! Oh crap, don't die. Don't fucking die now. Right, I'll head off to Hyman Condo and get some armour there. And then I'll head to Coffin Cabs and save and get the Zebra Cab. Bloody hell! I forgot how difficult it is to do a taxi driver. I mean, yeah, taxi driver with six stars over there, as opposed to over here in the mainland. Jesus. Honestly, what a fucking carry-on. And there's still a fucking carry-on right now. Just grab them. 
Come on, let's save already. Jeez. I'll talk more about the upcoming GTA 3 playthrough in an announcement video, which I'll make once this playthrough right here is over. It'll be similar to the announcement video that I made for this playthrough. Right, before I save, footage check. Okay, footage is okay. Uh, that'll be my backup save. So I'll save over at slot 6. Okay, let's go. Uh, look for a fair. I don't see any right now. I will in just a sec. Yep, just up the road. Or no, it's uh, in the alley. As in, he's in the alley. And the hardware store in Havana is fine. That's right. Back to GTA 3. Uh, Again, well I said this in a previous recording session, but taxi driver will actually be quite easy in GTA 3 because you can use a tank. I forgot to mention that paramedic in GTA 3 um, well, what I can do is some kind of ghost car glitch that could make paramedics slightly easier. It's the, it involves using the car crusher glitch, which will make your vehicle immune to damage from bullets and collisions. It won't, however, stop you from getting blown up by a tank, but you can, however, make a quick getaway by simply driving through a building. So when you drive through a building when you've got a ghost car in GTA 3, um, you'll, fall th in, you'll fall into blue hell and then a few seconds later you'll land back on land. So yes, although that could allow me to make a quick getaway when a tank is coming towards me, it could cause me to lose a bit of time, so I need to be careful. I want to try and avoid driving through buildings and into blue hell as much as possible in that case. And that should be 53 fares dropped off now, so I'll see how many I can drop off in this session. Preferably as much as possible. Because under normal circumstances, I think it takes just under two hours to drop off the required 100 in one sitting. But because I've got six stars, it'll probably take me over an hour to drop off the remaining 50. Oh shit, I thought I avoided that, you fucking cock. Ah! Tell you what, since I'm in Little Havana, I'm going to have a quick hunt for a Cuban Hermes. Again, traffic very, very rarely spawns when you've got six stars. Some I won't put the water level back on until I see a Cuban Hermes. As soon as I do see one, I'll put it back on, alright? But I'm going to stay on foot, I'm not going to get in a vehicle. Yep, there's one. I thought it was. Sorry about that folks, it took a bit longer than I'd hoped. But here is a Cuban Hermes which almost ran me over. Go! I'm so glad that's not a tank. And I must say the fact that I've got no weapons is a fair compromise. Right, I'm gonna go over here to stay well away from the tanks and whatnot. So this is the very last vehicle that's required for Sunshine Autos. It's a shame that the only way for me to obtain one reliably at this point in the playthrough was to turn my wanted level off. Yeah, that was a real shame. I don't get Ultra Cop now, please. There we go. Did she see a white two door? It was black. For God's sake. 
That's strange. The message is usually uh, all the cars. Nice, here's a little something. Well, let's see what my percentage is at now. Okay, it's still 98, but that's okay. I wonder if maybe completing all the car lists for Sunshine Autos only increases your percentage completion by 0 0.5 or something, or 0 0.25, who knows. Either way, I'm pretty sure I will get 100% once I've dropped off the remaining taxi driver fares and uh, completed paramedic. Right, footage check and then save just while I'm here. That's fine. Right, let's head back to Kaufman Cabs and do some more taxi fares without getting fucking busted. Almost like that. Oh shit. Ah! Oi! Fuck's sake. I guess I'm not getting that tank. Tommy! What the fuck are you doing? In all seriousness, what the fuck was that? Get out of my car, Shorin. Pop, pop. Well, what I could do is go around the back of this wall and get the M4. Is that armour? No. There's not armour near Cafe Rubina in this game. That's in Vice City Stories. Right, this allowed me to kill the soldiers to get out of their tanks. Which allowed me to get back to Kaufman Cabs a bit more easily. And safely. Come on then. Dead. They both died. They did. Oh. Pick it up then. Okay. What I'll do is I'll drive backwards. Don't get busted. Wish those cops weren't there. Come on. See if the if the dude taxi driver in any vehicle glitch was in this game. I probably would have completed taxi driver by now because I'd be able to use a tank. But no, I'll grab the armor just while I'm here. And hopefully not get harassed by any cops, which seems very unlikely, sadly. Very unlikely. Oi! Piss off. By the way, for my GTA 3 6 stars playthrough, I'll also be using a 7 stars mod. Because that's the only way to get. For fuck's sake, those roadblock barriers have annoyed me far too much in this playthrough. It stops and it stops now. Don't count on it. Don't hold your breath. I look like, I look like a smurf if I hold my breath. So what was saying? What was I saying? What was I saying? About GTA 3. The fucking roadblock barrier caused me to lose my train of thought. It'll come back to me. Oh yeah. The 7 stars mod for GTA 3, yeah, that's the only way to have 6 stars right from the very beginning of uh, GTA 3. But like uh, this game, there will be a couple of points where my max 1 level will go back down to 5. But I can fix that by simply saving and then reloading. So that'll happen after I've completed last requests for Salvatore. And also after I've completed Two-Face Tanner for Asuka. Is it Asuka or Asuka? Not sure. Come on then. Oh, I've just been there. That's 
just my tank, that's okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Steady there. Also, to make things significantly easier in my GTA 3 playthrough, once I finish the first mission, Luigi's Girls, I will collect all the hidden packages. That's right, all of them. All 100. Just so I have all the weapons at my hideout right from the start. Well, apart from the flamethrower. Because the only way to get the flamethrower is by completing Firefighter. But the weapons that I'll really need in that playthrough are grenades, M16, and rockets. Rockets will come in very handy. I think they'll be the most handy, or most valuable, or invaluable, out of all the weapons in that game. Fuck's sake, am I going to pick up any fucking passengers at all? Preferably without losing any wheels. No, you're not going there. You can walk. Get some exercise, it's good for you. I think she said a bit too much exercise, judging how fucking slim she is. Fuck! No! Jeez! And before anybody asks, that tank didn't blow me up because it wasn't moving. Right. I should have enough time to get this thing repaired on the way to my destination. I couldn't give a flying fuck. Yeah, I've got heaps of time to get to my destination after repairing this taxi. to do the the drive-by trick in your GTA 3 playthrough, will you? Nope, sadly. Uh-oh. I just fixed this fucking taxi's tyres. Bloody hell. Oh god, oh fucking mighty. Right. I guess I'm getting it fixed up again. Sorry. Jesus, come on! Oh, God. Well, that's one thing I certainly... Go away! Fuck off! Sorry, that was really annoying. Yeah, one thing I certainly won't miss in my GTA 3 playthrough is the spike strips. Fuck. I'm quite surprised the spike strips aren't in uh, San Andreas. Go. Right. How many is that now, by the way? 58, okay. So 42 more. Also, like in this... Fuck! I said, you wanna send me now? That right there is the definition of owned. That was fucking nasty as shit. I had a feeling that they didn't both die. Hold on. Oh, maybe I'm a better idea to just grab a... Grab any vehicle. At least the armor's come back. Right. 
Come on, pick it up then. Fuck. Come on then. Watch this. Take out that truck as well. Are they all dead? I bloody hope so. Oh, fuck! How the hell? Was my door missing or something? It had to have been. Right. Mine. Go. Right. Fuck's sake. If it's not one thing, it's the fucking other. Well, there's going to be a shitload of raging in the GTA 3 playthrough. That's absolutely guaranteed. No doubt about that whatsoever. Get in. Fuck. Oh shit. I've not got an SMG so I can't do any drive-bys. Well, let's see how long I can last without one. Probably not very long. Right, is that tank still there? Yes. Two of them, in fact. Ah! Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Too much shouting. It's the Metallica concert all over again. Too much shouting. Oh dear. Well, hopefully that taxi blowing up will kill them. And we'll kill at least one of them anyway. Right. I'll head over to Coffin Cabs and save. And get the Zebra Cab. And the M4 just while I'm here. I'll check the footage as well, but I'm pretty sure it's still recording. Which is fine. Let's keep going. Right. Okay. Again, I hope I can get out of here. At least I've broken off a door. Which means if I allow a passenger to get in the left side, he or she will get in very quickly. Ooh. Quick. That's right. Wrong side, but never mind, she's in. Go! Right. No, you don't. Watch your ammo. And the good thing about collecting all the hidden packages in GTA 3 is that the weapons that spawn at your hideout actually give you shitloads of ammo. I'm pretty sure the rocket launcher pickup at your hideout gives you 50 rockets. Seriously. As Sergeant Martinez would say, that is, trust me, quite a lot. Go. Oi. Oi. Right. I'm going to lose that truck. In, 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 good. Back to Kaufman and Cabs again. Hi, Tank. How are you? That's right. Fuck. Fuck again. 
fuck? Right. Yeah, jump in. In. Oh. Oh! Shit, that was close. This thing is repairing. But because I've got over three minutes left on the clock, I've got plenty of time to get it repaired right now. Yeah. By the way, I found a video on YouTube that reveals a minor glitch in Paramedic in this game that um, makes Paramedic slightly easier. And I mean very slightly easier. What you have to do is pick up... Um, how do I say it? Well, what you can do is you can pick up three passengers in your ambulance and then let a cop come up to the passenger side of the ambulance and drag the patient out. And then the next time you stop the ambulance, all the patients in the ambulance will get out. And the game will think they've been rescued the next time you go to the hospital. So that means that you won't have to go to the hospital so many times. So I think as long as you pick up a large number of patients in your ambulance at once and then let a cop drag the patient out of the passenger side, Jesus, and then let the passengers get out, the game will think they've been rescued. And the same will happen the, ne the next time you pick up the next three patients, the game will think that six patients were rescued at once the next time you go to the hospital. Will you fuck off? Go on. Now see what you've done. And I'm out of SMG ammo as well. Christ. Got plenty of time, but still, that was really annoying. But no, I won't be using that uh, cop dragging patient out of ambulance trick to make paramedic easier. Because I've got no SMG ammo. No, I'll just use the replay glitch to make it slightly easier. What I'll do is, if my ambulance bursts into flames, I'll trigger a replay glitch to make the fire go away. But my ambulance will still be heavily damaged. And of course, it won't stop me from getting blown up by tanks. Okay. Yo, 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 taxi, brother. Okay, that's not far away at all. Once I've dropped them off, I'll check to see how many I've dropped off altogether. It has to be at least uh, 60. Ooh. That was playing with fire right there. Strongest handbrake ever. Ah! Shit. Right, okay, go away! Thank you. Actually, no thank you, he's still chasing me. Fuck! What am I? How not to climb a tree. Confession, I've never climbed a tree in my life. Well, I've got a good excuse to have not climbed a tree. I don't like heights. Right, okay. Hope that 
my tank just passes me by. It did. Oh, fuck. I didn't realise a new passenger spawned somewhere else. Never mind. Right. God, if only you could pick up weapons and armor when you're in a vehicle. Somebody should make a mod where you pull up in a vehicle next to a weapon and you get a an on-screen prompt that says uh, press tab to reach out of the car window or car door and pick up the weapon. Two tanks, bloody hell. Uh oh. Oh shit, out. Okay, well done. I was going to go to Hyman Condo to get some more armour from there. But now the sun right there. Right. I'm going to head back to Kaufman Cabs in this FBI Washington and save again. By the way, I think I said Hyman Condo a while ago instead of Scumhole Shack. And I think it was uh, after I lost all my armour. I said I would get some armour from behind the, the greasy chopper bar. And I said Hyman Condo, I meant Scumhole Shack. Jesus. You took a while to blow up, didn't you? I forgot I had an M4. Right. I'm not going to bother checking the footage this time, because I'm pretty sure it's okay. And I think that'll need to be repaired. So instead of repairing it, I'll just reload my save. You've not crashed, have you? Nope, thank you. I'll check the footage anyway, hold on. That's 67 passengers dropped off now. Doing good. Still got a fair bit left to go, but I'm making good progress. Sorry! Why'd that tank have to be there? Why? Lies. You bury me? Why? Oh, I forgot. That gang doesn't like me anymore. Bloody hell, truck! <sighs> Fuck's sake. There. No. Oh. I thought I was gonna get busted. Thankfully, no. Right. What's that truck doing? Driving about with flat tires. Hurry up and get in. Oh god, no. I refuse to take people there because it's so bloody far away. Right. That's better. I also refuse to take passengers to the stadium because it's easy to get blown up by tanks in that area. Yep, it is. <laughs> 